One occasion there was a great philosopher and theologian that was walking along the seashore, very pensive, and he was trying to understand the mystery of the Blessed Trinity. And he saw a little child with a little bucket, and he was uh, running to the ocean and filling his bucket with water, and he would splash the water on the sand. And the little boy was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, till finally this great thinker stopped the little boy and said, what are you trying to do? He said, I'm trying to empty the ocean with my little pail. The older man said, no matter how you try, you're not going to be able to do that. That's impossible. The little boy, the little child, was really not a child, but rather an angel that was sent from God to heaven. And he said to the the wise man that was trying to plummet the depths of the mystery of the Trinity, he said, it's much easier for me to empty the ocean with my little bucket than for you to plumb the depths of the mystery of the Trinity. That older man is known today as the great Saint Augustine. And he wrote many books, Confessions, the Two Cities, many sermons. He's known as the Doctor of Grace. But also he wrote a masterpiece called De Trinitate, which is on the Blessed Trinity. We cannot fully understand the mystery of the Trinity because the, the nature of a mystery is it does not, tr does not contradict reason, but it transcends reason. So we should at least try to understand the mysteries of our faith. That's why St. Anselm says that faith, faith seeks understanding. So let's try to understand at least to a limited degree the mystery of the Trinity.